thinking about selling on Amazon, but not sure which plan to choose. Hi, my loves. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Vanessa, Vani for short. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing some of the work for you and go over a few of the differences that each selling plan has. I'll also go over some of the fees that you'll have if you do decide to go the FBA route. So what you're going to do, you're going to go into Google and type in Amazon Seller Central. I like to go to the second one. Click here. Then you're going to click Learn More. You're going to go to Pricing. You can do Standard or Compare Selling Plans, whichever one will take you to the same spot. Now, first you'll notice there are two selling plans, the individual and the professional. The individual is $0.99 cents per item sold, and the professional is $39.99 a month. Now, if you feel that you are going to sell less than 40 items per month, then the individual would be best for you. But if you're going to sell more than 40 items, the professional is the best. Now, let's scroll down. Here we notice that these are all the benefits that include with the individual. So you have the seller university, seller support, you can list your products, so on and so forth. Now, if we scroll down, it stops right there. I want to point out a few of the perks that the professional plan has that I really enjoy. Now, the first one is applied to restricted products. Now, what that means is basically being able to sell like the hot brands, Nike, Adidas, Lego, Disney on Amazon. If you have the individual account, you're not going to be able to sell these products. And those are the ones that make most of the money. So... If you do want to sell those products, the professional account would be best for you. The next one is compete to be the featured offer. If you click on it, it'll give you a full description and a video on it. But basically, that means that you are able to get the buy box. So the buy box is this section right here. Now, you know, everyone that goes to buy on Amazon, we always just go and add to cart. We rarely... Maybe a few of us do, but not all of us go down here and we look at all of the other sellers. These sometimes are individual sellers. I have heard before that some of the individual accounts are eligible or have been able to get the buy box, but I'm not too sure how true that is because I don't have that account <laughs> and everybody that I know has the professional account, but you can try. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you will see that the individual account does have the FBA option and that is fulfilled by Amazon, which is great. But you can continue, go on here and look at all the other things. But those are like the main ones that I really like to use. Um, there are like coupon ones if you decide to do private label. That's a goal of ours being Amazon sellers. So you can take more of an in-depth look at these. <laughs> So let's just say you do decide to get the individual account and you do it for a month and then you have 100 items sold. Then at that point, I think you should maybe think about doing the professional account. Why? Because instead of paying the $39.99, you're now paying $30. No, you're not paying $30. You're paying $100. <laughs> you're now paying $100 instead of the $39.99. Also, you can switch accounts. So if you are an individual and you want to switch to a professional at that point, or if you haven't sold that many items and you just want to go back to the individual, then you can do that. It, you can change it at any time. So you're not stuck. Now to the referral fees. These are basically the selling fees to use Amazon's platform. Typically, they will take about 15% of every item that is sold. So if you're selling an item that is $10, then Amazon will take $1.50 every unit sold, which honestly, it makes sense because you do have to pay them something to use their platform. So what you would do, you would go to your product category and let's just say I am in home and kitchen. So I would go down, find home and kitchen and see, it's typically 15%, but you can go here, lawn and garden, 15%. You can just scroll down and find your category. So that's how you figure out the referral fee. Now, if you do decide to go the FBA route, which is fulfilled by Amazon, I am gonna show you guys those fees. So when you send your items into the Amazon warehouse and a customer buys it, then an Amazon employee has to pick, pack, and ship it off to the customer. So when that happens, we have to pay the employees. 
Now, when we go in here, you'll see these charts. So we have not apparel, apparel, low FBA, low FBA apparel. Okay, so if you have your item at hand, then you can look at the weight and you can go here and figure that out. But for as an example, I'm going to go into here. Let's say we're shipping these headphones. I will go down to description and here it says my item weight is 2.8 ounces. So I would go back and I would check here. So it will fall into here. So from February 5th to April 14th, Amazon's gonna charge me $3.31 to pick, pack, and ship each unit that was sold. And starting from April 15th, it'll be $3.15. Now, this is non-apparel. So if you have apparel, you would choose here. Low FBA, non-apparel, and low FBA apparel, that's basically any items that are $10 or less. So if you have, let's say those headphones are 10 bucks, I would be charged 254 instead of the 331 for this time of the year. Now, if you are gonna go the FBA route, I suggest always using small standard or large standard you could kind of get away with because it's not that much but once you start getting into like these extra large and all that this one right here is 54 dollars plus 75 cents you know above the 71 pounds so it does accumulate i mean if you have the budget for it by all means go ahead but just make sure you're always still in profit so the last section I want to go over is the storage fees. This is not included in your fulfillment fees. The fulfillment fee is basically pick, pack, and ship, take it out of the warehouse. The storage fee is to keep your items in Amazon's warehouse. So if you look in the month of January to September, a standard size is 80 cents per cubic foot and 50 cents for oversized. October to December, it is $2.40 and oversize is $1.40. Now these costs aren't that much, but if you decide to send in, let's say a thousand units, that can rack up. So it would be 87 cents times 1,000 per month. So do the math, think about that. <laughs> Now, those are the main fees. There are some other fees that you guys can look over. There is return fees, there's aged inventory fees, removal and disposal fees. So you guys can go in there and look at that. I'm going to put the links to all these pages in the description so you guys can take a look at it for yourself. If you guys feel like you need more hands-on help, I am offering one-on-ones. So I will put all my contact information down in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're always notified when I upload something. And as always, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.